my uh, sister passed away with cancer of the liver at 34. My son, my brother, just a little bit older than her, uh, passed away with stomach cancer. My mother had cancer. I have had cancer. It just seems like that area, that group of us have all of us contracted cancer and most of them all have said, the doctors have all said, it is from radiation, or over amount of radiation. And so if you know where it came from, the government did a bad job for all of us. I think that we weren't considered as being important. Um, they did not test if the wind was blowing a certain direction. If it was blowing towards Las Vegas, they didn't test. It was only if it was blowing away in, in our direction. And I think they just felt like we didn't count. We were just a little town. Um, maybe it would dissipate enough by the time it came our direction that it wouldn't cause any trouble. But I, I really think um, if they knew how serious it was, they certainly didn't let us know. But the main thing uh, was we needed to fear the Russians. It wasn't about what was being done to us or what we needed to be aware of or what our safety. Uh, our safety was totally disregarded when we watched the propaganda films at school. Um, they would show us the film of them blowing up the mannequins down at the test site and what would happen, the horrific nature of it. But it wasn't about, they were testing that in about a test site and somehow there would be health effects for us. The more you dig into it, the more it's just been this history of cover-up, of lies. They didn't want to admit it. And it's really hard to think that the government that, that you believed in, and we all grew up, in my era anyway, trusting the government and trusting doctors and trusting authority, it was really hard to believe that they knowingly let that happen to us, that essentially there was a nuclear war. It was undeclared, but to me, that whole arms race was a nuclear war because we killed our own, Russia killed its own, everywhere they tested, they killed their own. And it's very, very discouraging to think that your government will sacrifice you in the name of national security. It's hard to ever, ever trust them again.